Welcome back to Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa. We now have with us Rajiv Karwal, founder and CEO of Milagro Business and Knowledge Solutions, along, of course, our pioneer, Surinder Kapoor, the founder and chairman of the Sona Group. Together, they're going to now assess and evaluate the three pitches and select a winner. Remember, the winner gets a Lufthansa business class return ticket to his dream destination in Europe, as well as a mentorship from Thai. Rajiv, you've heard them, you know what they do. It's time for some tough questions. So let's start with Vikram. Uh, Vikram, uh, tell me uh, about your team. Uh, we have three, three of us. Uh, I am a chef by profession and uh, drive the technical know-how of the business. We have Vivek Madappa, who is founder of Hummingbird Suites, who also runs a very successful uh, corporate stay solution company. And Vinod Timaya also, who uh, uh, manages our IT and helps us scale with IT. And uh, in terms of the scalability and replicability, what are the, you know, the uh, procedures or processes which you are building or uh, technology you are investing in to be able to take it all India? So we basically function in a hub and spoke model where our hubs prove to be the industrial kitchens and then we have the spokes which are the retail outlets. Uh, we have tried to de-scale it as much as possible by ensuring that there is no food production at the end level till the customer once it's manufactured and dispatched from the kitchen. Um, we also have a program called the FREP or the uh, Food Retail Entrepreneurship Program wherein uh, franchises are brought on board mentored through classroom sessions uh, and we believe that this asset life model will help us scale very quickly. Let's get the next entrepreneur, Jayant Narayanan. Now he is open for all the big quizzing. So what would be your next three years uh, target in terms of top line? So in terms of top line, I think we should be able to do about uh, six to ten units uh, without external funding. So what's your ambition as a business? Uh, you know, 10 years from now? I think there is somebody who's going to crack the biryani space in India and create a brand like a McDonald's for a burger in India. We would love to be that. Uh, one is it depends on access to funds. It depends on access to how quickly we're able to groom our people and availability of real estate. What we realize is that the restaurant business is not a, doesn't seem to be a naturally VC friendly business because VCs like businesses where they invest money in creating IP and you can quickly scale. Here with each uh, restaurant I open, there is capital which is going in. So uh, I think we've got to get to about 10 uh, units at least, one unit at least in other city. When somebody like a, like a PE guy will come and give us a lot of money to grow from 10 to about 100. The beauty of this business is I think it's extremely unassailable. So it doesn't uh, change with the economy. So I think it'll be fairly satisfying. Especially if we don't, if we do it with our own money, I think it'll be even more satisfying. If I take external money and if I get to only 10, I think that'll be, I won't be satisfied with that. Let's get the next entrepreneur, Rohit Sharma. Rohit, uh, you have six crores of turnover. Uh, yes, uh, is it actually realized or is it going to be in the next financial year? It is for the financial year 2011-12. What is the market size, uh, you know, even if you have to cannibalize into other technologies mm -hmm. uh, which are uh, prevalent right now in the country, what is the overall market size of your kind of business in disposable? The global market size is about 8 billion. And uh, India, I don't know as of now, I have no figures in India, but I think every uh, outlet which is uh, serving food or every place which is into food retail is, is our uh, target client. And uh, I think we have tons of queries as of now, we are unable to you know, even cater them because uh, the availability of the raw material is, is actually a big issue in this product. So you hardly have scratched the surface, to you know, tell you very frankly. Right. Is it right? And I really do not know what exactly is your uh, managerial bandwidth at this point in time. Uh, you know, I think you should really uh, look at that very carefully. All right, just hang in there, guys. Both uh, Rajiv and Surinder Kapoor will have to think about those question and answers because it's getting tough, but it's getting clearer. So we're going to allow them to put some better insight into these special cards that I'm going to give them. These are the Pioneering Spirit dashboards where the two of them will together mark the three entrepreneurs on certain parameters. For our viewers, it's important to know that these dashboards really contain five parameters on which Rajiv and Surinder Kapoor will mark them. And these parameters include market opportunity, quality of solution or innovation, scalability of the business models discussed, the team and how the team is expanding, differentiation and the unique selling point or USP. Now each of these parameters would be assessed on a total score of 20 together by Rajiv and Surinder Kapoor. Each entrepreneur would then get a final score out of 100 and that would decide 
who the winner is. So handing over the cards to you and to you to go ahead and mark the three entrepreneurs. been some brainstorming out there let us then tell our viewers who the winner is well you know we've had a good discussion it's not been easy I think all three uh, Vikram Jayant and Rohit have been have got excellent ideas okay I think they're gonna be all very successful entrepreneurs and obviously the winner is one of the three The winner is Rohit Sharma. Congratulations, Congratulations Rohit. Watch the stars grow brighter as the sun shines. Many congratulations. May I now please request Alan Chako, Manager Call Center Customer Care and Group Business India, to present a prize to the winner, a Lufthansa Business Class return ticket to any European destination you, of you, his you, choice. On behalf of Lufthansa, I would like to present you a business class ticket to Europe. Let's see him. Thank you. And I'd also request Mr. Chakra to present a memento to our pioneer, Mr. Surinder Kapoor. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. It's Thank been you. a real pleasure of sharing your experiences you. on this show. Thank you. Wow. And the good advice you've given the young entrepreneurs. <laughs> Thank I'd you. I'd like to give you this A380. Great. Well, great. Thank you. <laughs> Well, as you can see, our winner today has taken his place on the pioneering spirit leaderboard. The excitement is likely to continue to build up as new faces come in and then joust to be in the grand finale. Now, the final winner will be awarded an entrepreneurial program at Cambridge University that's aptly titled Ignite, courtesy Kenan Partners on the show. Thank you all for joining us. Such pleasure having you here on the show and we do hope to see you at the grand finale. Thank you very much. Well, that's a wrap on this episode of Pioneering Spirit of Product of Lufthansa. Do remember to give us your feedback on the Lufthansa India Facebook page. We'll see you again same time next week. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching. This is Pioneering Spirit, a product of Lufthansa.